For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where you got a force A of 7 kN, a force B of 5 kN, and you got these other two forces of 6 and 8 acting all onto this assembly. Now what they want you to do is they want you to find the resultant force and find its location in the x and y plane. So the sum of the forces in the C is equal to negative f of a minus f of b minus 6k minus 8k and it is a total of negative 26 kilonewtons. Now the resultant force is the magnitude of this uh, addi addition of forces and it comes out to be 26 kilo newtons. Now the sum of the moments in the x you got to assume that the moments uh, going clockwise is positive that way it gives you the right result so assuming clockwise is positive the sum of the moments in the x is equal to f of a times 0.6 notice that I'm already converting this millimeters into meters this is 0.6 meters plus 8 times 0.7 that is this force right here times this 0.7 minus f of b times 0.75 that is this f of b right here and this 0.75 right here minus 6 times 0.65 now when you add all this together in your calculator you get that this is positive 2.15 kilonewton meters meters because we already converted into meters from millimeters so now that you got the moment you know that the moment in the x is equal to the resultant force times the y this is true because assuming clockwise was positive if you assume counterclockwise was positive this would be a negative right here but since I assume clockwise is positive this formula is correct so this would be 2.15 is equal to 26 times y and when you solve for y you divide 2.15 by 26 and you get 0 0.0827 meters is the coordinate for the y where this resultant force will be applied now we're going to do the same thing for the x. Let me just. So the sum of the moments in the y, now you got to assume counterclockwise is positive for the formula to work. So remember, in the x is clockwise is positive for the moment, in the y is counterclockwise is positive for the moment. So assuming counterclockwise is positive, this is equal to minus 8 times 0.1, that is this force times this 0.1 right here minus f of b times 0.15 that's this f of b times this 1.5 right here plus f of a times 0.15 f of a times this 0.15 plus 6 times 0.1 that is this 6 and this is 0.1 when you plug all this in this is equal to positive 0.1 kilonewton meters so now that you have the moment in the y, you know that the moment in the y is equal to f of r times the x coordinate. This only works because you assume counterclockwise is positive. If you assume clockwise was positive, you will have to put a negative right here. However, we did counterclockwise, so this formula works. So MOY is 0.1 is equal to 26 times the x coordinate. So when you solve for x, you get that this is equal to 0 0.00385 meters. Final answer for the x. And final answer for the y. And final answer for the resultant force. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.